So the first thing you want to do is move your turkey over. Success. Get rid of this. This is some of the gravy and the drippings. We'll deal with you in a second. By now, not so much. All right. So here's the math. I got myself a big bird here right now. It's about 16 pounds. It's been in the oven 20 minutes a pound, so that's been about uh, whatever that is, 300 minutes. 300 minutes, it's done. I start on the high heat, low heat, base the turkey, all the recipes you can click on, you can find out. So I recommend three things. Number one, get a pair of gloves. They're not going to hurt you. You're going to keep your hands nice and clean. Your family will respect you for it. Number two, get yourself a chef jacket, just like this one. It says Ralph on it, an Alba Seaside Italian on the back. It's available at albamiami.com. I repeat, that's available at albamiami.com. Here's the deal on this. You've got the breast, you've got the legs, and you've got the thighs, and then you've got the wings. Right? They're all together. Now, you want to let the turkey rest before you cut it. What happens is, when you cook something, all the juice gets tight, right, when you're cooking it, and that's how the bird cooks. When it rests, the juice, that natural deliciousness, goes back to once where it came from. The more you rest the meat, the better it's going to be juicy, right? The more juicy it will become. So I like to rest it for at least five minutes a pound. So that means if it's a 12-pound bird, I'm going to let this bird really rest for 40 minutes to an hour because it's still going to be hot. It's still going to be plenty hot, but the juice is going to go to a nice place. Don't just take the turkey out of the oven and throw it at the people. Now, as you see, I took this bird out of the oven. However, I had already cooked it, and I just warmed it up a little bit, right? Which is really a good play when you're doing it at home. Don't wait to try to time everything to the last second of cooking. Give yourself a minute, give yourself a breather, make the lasagna, make the side dishes, make the salad, take the turkey, pop it back in the oven, and then serve it to everybody. They're all gonna love you for it. Now you see over here, I got a little bit of twine that I used to tie the bird up to keep everything together. I'm just gonna remove that, put it off to the side over here. Now, the real tricky part is getting the breast separated from the cage, right? So the rib cage and everything that's here. So the first thing I'd like to do is remove this wing, put it over there in case there's a uh, hungry relative. Big Frank comes over. You can throw the wing at him, keep him out of your way. And every place where there is, is like this little natural joint where you can find, natural joint, that you can find right here between the wing and the, the bone, and the, the little flapper part and the fat part over here. So you separate that, move it to the side. Come on over here, Webby, let me show you the math. Right down the middle, there's a bone right here, right through the middle of the back. So I like to come down, right on it, and start to move the meat right away from the cage, right? I can take a look in there, I see it's perfect. Then I'm gonna slide over here. I'm gonna move this big leg out of the way and slowly with my hand, just kind of push it a little bit down. And if your turkey's properly cooked, the leg will just knock down for you you really won't have to use the knife so much. You come in and you investigate where the joint is. As you can see, it just pops right out. You see that happen? The leg just popped right out. You then just move the leg away from the thigh meat. And so far, this is coming out perfect. Wouldn't you say so? I say so. Boom. All right, now let's deal with the breast. Here's the breast on this side and use the knife to our advantage and kind of slide it along the cage. Pretty simple moves. Don't hack at it. Just kind of give the knife, let the knife do its thing and just slide down and down the breast. Make it easy and it just pops right out. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. That looks pretty good. How do you feel about that? Webb, you like the way that looks? Delicious. It looks delicious. Now, same thing over here. Going to slide the bird around. I can maneuver it a little bit now. It's starting to break down a little bit. Just slightly push the leg away. Just like that. Come down and around. If any of the kids are around, you can start to get the wishbone stories ready. Now, how about you? I like to, I like to pull on the wishbone, but there's a technique. When you grab it, you got to go up. And I'm going to show you in a second. Let the grandma win, though. If your grandmother, if you're doing the wishbone with your grandmother or a little kid, let them win. Don't be such a spachatine. All right, so we pop that out. Look at that. Not even a knife. Look at that. I don't even need a gun to rob this bank. You go like this. 
then right here, same story. There's a little joint right there. So you can just follow down with your knife and you find it. And when you see it, you just put the knife right in the middle of the joint. And there it is. And there it is, just like that. We're going to come down the same way with the turkey. Breast. Just follow that middle backbone. Use the knife. Let the knife run alongside it. Let the meat start to pull. Use your hands. You see why the gloves work out? So you're not touching everybody's turkey. I don't want you touching my turkey. You slide down like this. Nice and easy. Separate it from the cage. Now, right here, this is going to be turkey soup for tomorrow. Turkey tetrazzini with a little bit of peas and the fettuccine. It's so good. I'm going to move this out of the way like that. There's some dark meat over here. There's some white meat over here. Now, get somebody else on the family team to take this and start to take any of this little extra meat that's on the cage left over. This little meat right here is going to be, you can put it in with your service or you save it for the turkey salad that you're going to have later on tomorrow on some of the rye bread, the turkey salad, maybe a little bit of stuffing. Paul said he likes a little bit of cranberry on there. Me personally, I like a little bit of the gravy on it. So let me move this out of the way. I'm going to slice this bird real quick. Watch this. Here we go. Where's my knife? My knife is right here. Cut the breast. Just like this. Just like this. Just like this. Just like this. Just like that. We're going to take a little bit of the leg, put it right here. We're going to take the little bit of the thigh. When you want to do the thigh, you want to take the meat out. You just slide your knife right down along the leg. There's a bone right in here. And the thigh meat, you can just slide it around. Around and down. Just like this. Pick it up. I'm starting to feel a lot like Thanksgiving around here. I'm gonna put this piece like this. Now check this out. Remember, Alba Seaside Italian is closed for Thanksgiving. However, on Friday, it is stone crab mania on the beach. Cold beer and stone crabs, family not required. A little bit of parsley, a little bit of thyme leaf right there for everybody. The Pilgrims never had it so good. I'm Chef Ralph Pagano from Alba Seaside Italian, and this is Thanksgiving. <laughs>